Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be attempting a walk back tune in the backyard. Normally you need like 50 metres, so normally you'll do like a 50 metre and a 3 metre. You'll shoot at 3 metres, shoot at 50 and hopefully if they're still in all in the centre, you know your centre shot's in. But today I'm going to be doing it from 3 metres and 20 metres just to get a rough idea and to see if the average person at home can do the walk back tune in their backyard but what we're actually going to be put to test is the um, center shot tool so if, you, if you've seen in part number four maybe this is probably part number 36 or something of the boat tune but if you've seen in that video we used the laser center shot tool so we used a laser alignment tool to get our center shot so we put that in, we got that all perfect, so, but looking at it, it looked out. So if you normally do your normal lineup, you line up the arrow with the string and the center of the riser, it was way out, way out. So um, I'm interested to see today how far out it's going to be with the old walk back tune and we should be able to see a result, a major result anyway if it's out because I'm pretty sure you can do it at 20 meters. Instead of being out this much, it's only going to be out this much. So we should still be able to see a result. So that's going to be the plan today. Let's get to three meters, get sighted in. Then we're going to go going back to 18 meters and shooting it again and um, see how we go. And what I've done too, I've got just lines on pieces of paper on my target. I've just got lines, but what I've done, I've done a thin line and a thick line. So how I've done the thick line, I've done one texture thickness and then I've done three texture thicknesses for the center one. So I'm going to shoot the thick one at 18 meters to get because I don't need the super thin one at 18. If I'm shooting a three texture width line at 18, I'm doing pretty good because that's about the half the size of the X. So if I'm shooting that, I'm laughing. So here we are, backyard. Going to do the backyard walk back. All right, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are at three meters. And the only problem with my backyard, besides the lighting situation, is that um, uh, backyard sloped. So to stand at 18 meters, I have to put the bag on the ground and that makes it level. So if I'm at three meters, it means I'm on my knees. So I'm gonna be doing a bit of the um, old hunting style, shooting off the knees. So the first thing we need to do is sight in at three yards, which is where I'm at right now. So I've got um, just two lines on the on the target and I'm just going to be shooting for the line trying to get me sights in so we're not worried about moving the rest we're just worried about moving the sight so we're going to get the sight set in once the sight set in we'll be able to do a bit of a walk back it's, it's so hard to draw this bow it's ridiculous That's not too far off it. Let's do again on just a couple, couple of clicks to the left. It's on the line, but the left side of the line. But with this one, we want it to be dead set in the center of the line, this close. Still a bit on the left side. No knock. So it's important that we really get a dead set in the center of this line. And so I'm wearing my shoulder out a bit sitting on these, shooting off my knees and my knees are getting wet. All right, that's dead set in the middle. Let's do two to make it true. 
two to make it true as they say. Give that shoulder a bit of a break. Here we go. Oh, that's a bit on the right side. Bring it back a few clicks. Need to put some knocks on these arrows. Do I ever? I'm out of arrows. Okay, so we can see here, this one was on, but I'm a little bit on the right. These were the first two. Touch on the left. We've moved it over. We've moved it over a bit too far. Probably, probably about right. I've only got four arrows. Okay, so I've got the arrows back. I'm going to have to put some more knocks on these arrows, I think. So let's try and fight, get these sights in. Alrighty guys, so now we've sighted in at 3 metres, we're back at 20 metres and going to shoot it again and see if we're still hitting the line. If we're not hitting the line, we know our centre shot's off. If we are hitting the line, we know we're pretty close. And let me just say, we're shooting bullet holes. Bullet holes through paper. I've tested that. Let's um, we'll redo it again before I move the... Before I move the rest, we'll bullet, we'll shoot it through paper and I'll show you that it's bullet holing. So whether the bullet hole's right or not, this is the, gonna be the test. Dead on the line. Two to make it true. It's a lot easier to shoot standing up too, that's for sure. That was a bit of a bad shot. I think it hit my jacket then. Oh. I'm shooting it with no backstop. My backstop's come undone. You're joking. It's still so quiet and my backstop's undone. Let's see if I can jam an Allen key in there because it's a torque wrench. That last one was way off. All right, we're back. I've removed the two bad shots from the target because I should only count the good shots. Tip for you. So let's get back into it. I've tightened this up. So we're all good to go. Should be a bit quieter now, even though it was quiet as before. And that was loose before I started shooting. I totally forgot about that. Pretty much on the line. I think we're spot on. I think that laser alignment worked crazily. Mm. 
Mm, that last one was a bit out. I wasn't texting my hand talk. This bow's really easy to talk. We'll talk about that in another video though. Let's go check it out. Alright, so you can see here I've got one on the line, two touching the line, one either side, so it looks like it's pretty pretty even. What we're going to have to do is retest that, but you can see the, the arrows are going on a bit of an angle. So we'll go back and uh, retest it. Alright, so this is the second time shooting back at 18. So we can see on the first one that they were all on the right side, so that could have been me. Let's do um, two to make it true, maybe three to make it true. Just to confirm it, you don't want to um, dodgy shot stuff in your tune up or a dodgy end. I think we got another pass through. This bow just shoots them so quick. These arrows are 395 grain, 98 grains. So they're nearly 400 grain arrows and they're still just pumping them out so quick. You know what, those last two, I really relaxed the bow hand. I think that's the drum. I think that's why they all went to the right. Got some knots, let's chuck them on this arrow. Now this knock hasn't been, this pin has barely been nicked, it's got a little nick on it, but she ain't smushed, so that means I can reuse it. You don't want to be reusing pins that are like this, because it just doesn't put the knock on straight. You can jam it on there, you'll get it on there, but um, you won't be um, shooting straight, because it'll make the knock go all different ways. So make sure you, when you do smash a pin, change that pin over. Right. So those last two shots were both on the line. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're on people, we're on. We gotta smash that, another knock. Put a new knock on and smash one straight away. Oh, don't you love this bow? So I think we're tuned in. Let's, um, so the first one, the first one was um, a bit to the right, but I think that was me. Because after shooting those last ones, I really can't see the first one. I noticed this bow really makes your hand stiff because you're pushing so hard into it with so much weight. But check out this last one. Look at that. Oh, look at that for a group. That's an X-size group at 20 metres. 
Hectic, and then this one was to the right. That's the one I was gripping. I think I was squeezing the bow just a bit too much. All right, well, we're back. This is why you really need to shoot a few ends to make sure that you get the right results. Because if I went off that first one, I would have moved me rest over. Would have moved the rest over and it would have been wrong. But we'll see, we don't know. Okay, so the goal is now, this one, total relaxation of that bow end. Because that's when I shoot good. Whenever I shoot good, it's when I'm concentrating on relaxing that bow end. That's right in the middle of the line. So this laser tuner, there's something to it, I think. Seems to be right on the money. Oh, that was a bad shot. There was no relaxation then, that's for sure. Of course you pull, you're pulling back so hard and you've got so much weight, like the valley's so small. When you, um, you let off anything and it just sucks you down, so you're sucked out. Relax that bow end. Pretty close to the line. Oh god, that's hard to pull back. On the line, I think. Alright, let's go check them out. I think we don't have to touch the rest. I think the laser tuner was on. Alright, so these are the two good shots, bang in the line, these are the two dodgy shots, they're just a little bit out from the hand torque, from gripping the bow. I really got to be careful with this bow without that, but it seems we're in people. So a little conclusion of this video is that this laser center shot tool seems to be pretty good. I didn't think it would be that spot on, I actually thought when I looked at it, I thought it was out. I thought looking at it, lining it up down, because it doesn't line up to the center of the handle, which is strange, and a, but a bullet hole, as soon as I drew a shot, first shot I shot through paper, and just bullet holes, I didn't show you, did I, but let's make a video about that next. Alright, so stay tuned for that one, well I'm surprised, I'm real surprised. The old laser center shot tool, she works pretty good. Alright guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. See you in the next one.